Ciao. Hi. Oh my god. What's this? Hi. What the heck? Hmm? Oh my goodness. Is it how you cook it again? Yes. Guys, this is the most random thing you've given me ever. So, am I supposed to eat it raw? No. Wow, my favorite choice of protein, but not really. Today, you'll be making shake away. Huh? What twist you have? You're going to make it spin the wheel again, right? You never know. What? I never cooked chicken wings before. So today will be the day. Oh no. How to cook? Hi, it's my first time in Eatbook's kitchen and I feel nervous. This looks so grand. Okay. There's an apron. Do I put this on? Yes. Oh yeah, I feel so professional. Looks like I've landed on grilled, which is my preferred choice of chicken wing anyway. Before you get started on cooking, we shall give you a pint of Guinness first. Thank you. Because Guinness pairs well with the fiery dishes that you'll be making today, here's a pint of Guinness to inspire you while you cook. Ooh, okay, cheers guys. Well, I gotta let you know it's at 10 in the morning right now. My recipe today will be a grilled chicken wing with a stout glaze. It's a bit of a mix between spicy and sweet la. So I don't know how that will work out but I'll find out, okay? Okay, so all the ingredients I need are out here. And while that's cooking, I'm also going to be making a glaze with this brown sugar as well as honey. And of course, because it's a stout glaze, we're gonna use some Guinness stout right here. This is when serious business starts. I actually like to leave my garlic a little bit chunkier so that when I there's a little bit of a bite to it. It's quite crazy how simple this recipe is going to be, but the next step is to mix the different ingredients up. So I'm going to use a bag. Now, the first ingredient I'm gonna add in is my garlic. All of my sauce cover all of the different chicken wings. So now we're gonna use the rest of our spices and mix it up. Got some sea salt. Make sure you give it a good rub. Get it all into the bone. And of course, last but not least, we're going to add some black pepper. Okay, I really sound like I know what I'm doing, but to be honest, I am quite winging it. <laughs> you want to put this down so that your chicken doesn't stick to the pan. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the starch into the chicken. And this is to thicken the sauce. Oh, I'm going to put it skin side down. So hopefully it has a nice sear. So, like I mentioned earlier, because we don't have a grill, we're going to grill this in the oven, okay? So now we're going to pop it in for about... Let's do like 40 minutes or 30 minutes, then we'll check it. Quite simply, we're just going to toss everything into this pot over here. Now let's heat up our induction cooker a little bit. So I'm a little bit nervous, don't know what to expect, but hey, honey, don't worry. My brown sugar. I wanted to do that. Okay, next up we have my stout right here. Okay, I'm going to use half a can first. Wow, look at all that foam. I think one of the most satisfying chicken wing experience that you can get is when you go out for supper at night at Chom Chom and you get yourself the roasted chicken wings and they're so nicely browned. Okay, I'm just going to up the temperature because I have to bring this to a boil. Once you bring it up to a boil, bring the heat back down. Let it simmer. Now that the cooker is off, we're going to let the glaze cool and sit for a while. My glaze is done, but it's not as sticky as I would have liked it to be. So, I think if you're going to make this, just reduce it a bit more. Ooh, the sizzle! That looks amazing. Okay, as you can see, the skin looks crispy and nicely browned. Okay, I'm gonna plate them on this very nice tray over here.
Wait, why is all this? Let's go. Oh! Oh! The danger! Where's the fire extinguisher? <laughs> but I do know that a Guinness stout is smooth and good. Mm. This is the first time in my life that I'm looking at a cookbook. I am thoroughly overwhelmed. <laughs> I, I'm blown away, but I will try to find something that I can... If I cannot, uh, then uh, I will just wing it. Just to keep things sweet, I'm going to add a bit of kaya. What? Because we never know, right? Dry ingredient. Dry ingredient. Okay, because I'm a sl ah. <laughs> As I was saying, I was a slaughter for this. So the slaughter in me is going to add this on top and then... And then Gladys will be like So delicious, I've never tried anything like this before And away we go! Hey, wash hand with soap Then at least got hope Yeah! So first things first Crush, crush red pepper Then uh, paprika You just put long enough to say paprika PAPRIKA! So you can also put long enough while you say all spice All spice! Same amount as paprika So PAPRIKA! So bay leaf for a little bit of that fragrance. Okay, pepper, pepper. And of course, a little bit of uh, curry powder. So we're going to add in some garlic to give it extra flavour. Whoosh the shirt! People always talk about honey as an ingredient, right? But no one ever talk about kaya. No lah, I normally like it barbecued. Uh, hawker centres like Chom Chom. Uh. To give you a final touch, you must. Now, it will go into the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, so first things first, I know you must close. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for greatness? So I believe, based on all my experience with Mukata, you take out this cap, put in clockwise, and then activate. It's, it's mine? I can keep forever? So this also is mine. Oh my god! I really? Yeah. Guys, this is the best shoot ever, eh? Does it not smell great? So we will turn the wings so that the fatty part of the skin is exposed. QP mayo is everyone's favourite mayo. Okay, so now we will torch a bit. Okay, parmesan, right? The mayo, right, will crisp up a bit and melt in your mouth. But the cheese, right, will be stringy so that it still has that. Texture. We have to get a bit of the sap in. Why? Because as Kiara once said, fat is flavour. Guys, all I can say is, it seems that after drinking Guinness, I have better instincts as a, as a chef than I've ever had. This recipe is what I would call best shit ever. BSE. Wow, oh, still got sound. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh! Hey, oh, got enough foam on top. Yeah, the foam looks very solid. Say real, right? <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, but my dad loves alcohol. Papa, this recipe is for you. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't like beer because I I always thought they are too bitter. It's actually quite light on the palate. Eh. My favorite kind of chicken is fried chicken. And I love it when it's coated with honey soy garlic sauce. Because I always like that sweet and savoury kind of combination. And I think it will go really well with a stout like Guinness. <laughs> Do you see the resemblance? So you just want to dust your chicken wings with corn flour, garlic powder, some salt and pepper, that's it. Masat, masat. Yeah, so when you add a bit of cornstarch, right, it, it gives the chicken a bit more chance to be crispier in the air fryer. So we have brought our air fryer out, and now I'm just going to lay the wings separate from each other. And we're going to go to the highest heat of 200 degrees Celsius, and cook it for 15 minutes first. So here are the ingredients I have for the sauces. Okay, maybe I add a bit of water first to be safe. Okay, soy sauce. And then, um, honey. Huh? Who called me? <laughs> and then some rice vinegar. Okay, sesame oil. Uh, oyster sauce. Okay, and minced garlic. And then you just boil it down to your choice of consistency. Make sure to keep stirring it, yeah? 
you know, it becomes like chao ta in the centre. Curious eh, do, do people who watch our cooking videos even cook at home? Or they just watch for entertainment? Like, I want to know. No, it's not overcooked, it's just that a bit of wok hay flavour. <laughs> just like Guinness, my wings are flavoured by the fire. <laughs> a bit runny, a bit sticky, but I think this is good. It's okay. ready! <gasps> oh my god! Okay, I forgot to oil the air fryer, so don't repeat my mistake, yeah? <sighs> I'm gonna drizzle my sauce. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some spring onion. Okay, and I'm gonna sprinkle some sesame. Since we have our beautiful wooden board, we're just gonna plate it beautifully. There you have it! Korean soy garlic air fried wings. Hey, I knew it, I knew it, I knew confirm got to confirm got we one. Hey, I got deep fried. Ah, deep fried. See the cool thing about stout uh, or like Guinness, right? Is that the foam goes downwards. And, and every time I drink Guinness, right, I find it very amusing to like, oh okay, just wait for it to settle and then like no bubbles like popping up. I'm gonna make Stout battered chicken wings. I'm, I'm gonna deep fry it, and then right, I'm gonna come up with a stout based sauce. I, I hope you guys are excited because this is my first time doing it. Oh, oh. <laughs> And to top it all off, we will be dousing it with Guinness. Uh, let me do the batter first because we got to let the batter rest. Let the gluten work lah. And what it gives, right, is a crispier texture. Let's do one cup. Season it with my paprics. It's okay. Gonna season it a bit. So what cayenne does is to give it that nice orange glow while the paprika can shine in its spiciness lah. I'm baking powder, I'm just gonna eyeball this. And while letting it rest, I'm gonna start on the sauce, which is also gonna be Guinness based. I'm gonna put the maple syrup and the ketchup in first. Gonna dump some mustard into it. Pickle juice is super, super, super dangerous. Yeah, oh! Okay. That works. Garlic. And then my gochujang. I'm, I'm just gonna stir it up beautifully and let everything combine on very, very low heat, okay? We are gonna add a layer of smokiness and creaminess actually with Guinness into it. It was a paste beforehand, now it's a thick and rich sauce. And I think at this point, let me turn the heat up a lot more. We just need, we just need a bit of that brown sugar, we don't need a lot. So now, what it lacks is a bit of um, salt. <laughs> Obviously, right? So, salt. So, sauce in. But the sauce, right, will, has to be enriched. And how am I going to enrich it, right? So, I'm going to add a bit of butter into it, let it slowly melt into the sauce. Time for the deep fry. But before we deep fry, right, I, we need to deal with our chicken first. And by doing our chicken, right, means that we've got to pat it dry. And as they are being pat dry, right? Hey, what a strap y'all. Let's try the fourth one. I'm just gonna put the oil in, enough to cover eight wings properly. And while waiting, um, let me just let me just chew. Just, just. Like you know chicken wings, some chicken wings, right? You eat with them, you just throw away. Right? But other chicken wings, right? The top tier one, uh, is like you can bite the bone, right? and then the more you eat the bone, uh, the more flavor it gets on. Right? Looks like it's hot enough. Chicken wings! Okay, it looks like the crust has already formed. I'm just gonna take one out. Ooh. We'll let it sit for a bit. I'm just gonna salt it right now real quick. Don't be afraid of messing things up because when you cook right, you gotta clean it up in the end. This smells so good! This smells so good! This looks great. I'm gonna put it to the test. Gladys! <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. 
first thing in the morning, man. Right? This tastes great. <laughs> okay. okay. Wow. Guys, this actually tastes damn nice, eh? I'm so amazed. I didn't believe that I cooked this by myself. And then Damn. the aftertaste of the lagama. Mm -mm -mm. Like a bit of the numbing, just a very mild numbing sensation. It's actually not that spicy yeah. at first bite. And I think the glaze really like helped balance on the sweetness mm. and the spiciness of the chicken wing. So at first glance, right, I thought it was a bit like burnt, mm. but actually it's not. Yep. I think it's just like the crispy bits. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really, it really tastes like as if like, you grilled it, you know. Yeah. I yeah. like that there's a good balance between like crispiness and the tenderness of the meat still. Yes. And I think adding the spring onion is a really good like touch yeah. in chicken wing. It just, it just brings out that fragrance more. And I love it that it's not just spicy. Yeah. It's sweet. Which I really really like mm -hmm. in a chicken wing. Yeah. yeah. So I think this is like a very very good pairing between like Guinness and the chicken wings. Moment of truth. Yes. Um, I'm pretty scared because today he really taplang all the ingredients, you know? No, it's called fear of added, the unknown. And he added kaya. 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 And chicken wing. Really just like that. Just like that. And then you. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. And then pull it all off the bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tastes very funny. It tastes very weird. But it blends so well together. What can I say? Do you think anything here is by chance? I don't really taste much of the kaya, which is great. <laughs> but the curry powder and the other seasonings like really like just combine really well together. So you see uh, the lime with the Worcestershire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Not oh. too shabby, right? Yeah, it's really damn shocked. <laughs> I feel like I'm eating at a bar, yeah. and you you drink it a bit, right? I feel like right yeah, after it. after she swallow yeah. and then she drink the drink, right? Yeah. Her instinctive body was to find a chair to recline. Yes, that's why I like that. But then got no chair to recline. Yo <laughs> yeah. mayo, oh. you see, uh, other people cook food, you know. Mm. I present food that give you a feeling. <laughs> I love Guinness. <laughs> I think the sauce is damn, damn good. Yeah. You see, it's sticky. Eh. Yes, you can see. It's <laughs> harmonica. Wow. <laughs> okay, it doesn't really smell sweet. It smells more like savory. Oh. Mm. It tastes very homely. Mm. It's not too sweet, which I like. It's really like a good balance. Wow, I think I will do this again eh. Really eh, air fryer eh. Okay, so and after eating it and then drinking the, the Guinness, right? It washes like that, that greasiness down. Even though it's not really that oily, but I think it's washing the sauce down. For air fried chicken, I must say it is really crispy. Like I said, I like it, I like it like this because it's not too saucy. You know sometimes Korean fried chicken can be like, they really cover it in like the gochujang sauce, mm. which I am not really a fan of. But I think this one, the sauce is thin enough. Menon's recipe is the most, not complicated. Simple lah. Simple, but uh, requires a lot of ingredients, yeah? But then, because his one is deep fried. So, I'm very excited to try because, mm -hmm. I mean, look at the skin. Taste-wise, right? You feel it. You will feel that crunch, you will feel that puffiness of it. Yeah, and I use it, I just eat. The meat is very succulent. Mm -hmm. It's very, very tender. And the skin, right, it just comes off very nicely. Eh. And I like this kind of skin. You know, like, like the batter is together with the skin. It's mm. not separated. What's the main star of this entire dish, right? It's the sauce and the Guinness. Mm. Right, we don't want like the chicken wings to be like, oh, chicken wings is the best part. No, we want the sauce and how it complements with the Guinness. Oof. Wow, this sauce is very luscious. Yo, I finished it off with uh, butter, butter, that's why. Right? Mm. Yeah, so you see the sheen right on top there. And then yeah. how, it, how it shines in the light. Yeah, exactly. The gochujang comes first. Mm. It's a very, very strong um, gochujang taste. But then after that, you know gochujang is normally spicy, right? Mm -hmm. Then suddenly it's not spicy. You know, at first it was, but after that it wasn't. But the Guinness is very subtle. Mm. Very, very subtle. 
And actually the, the skin also, right? You actually had um put a bit of Guinness into the batter also, right? Yeah. But still, I think it pairs very well with Guinness. Yeah, as it should. Yeah. I mean, that's the that's main point of, of what we are doing today, right? We are, we are not just like eating a good dish, mm. but we are showing you guys like, how to best complement mm. a stout. Mm. Right? I think the best part about this, right, is that there's a smokiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? There's a that smokiness is. from the sauce that, hey, you're like, where's the smokiness? Where's the smokiness? Where's the smokiness yeah. from? <laughs> it came out a lot better than I expected. I think because all the ingredients were just very simple to, to get and to put together. I guess I would consider this impressive. Yeah. So I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> and I feel like because I used Guinness in the glaze as well, it feels almost as if these were supposed to be eaten together. And because this was both spicy and grilled, right, I did feel like the Guinness helped to balance it out so well. Okay, but honestly, right, I was not expecting anything from this place. But if there's one thing that I do know, okay, based on all my uh, snacking and eating experience, okay, is that most of the time, all these spices that are in the dry rub, right, are very easy to make something flavorful. Because I think about it is that Guinness is a very cow drink. We have established that. So having a, a bit of tang and then after that to chase it down, it mixes well with the smoky and torch flavors as well. So yeah. I think this might be one of my best dish ever. Eh. The recipe was easy. The steps were really easy and the flavour is almost 10 point 10 to me la. <laughs> then it has this chimic feeling, you know like the Korean style, they drink beer and eat chicken at the same time. Yeah, I can imagine downing these two together at uh, Hongdae River. Smiley, smiley, little boy. To me, um, I think all the elements that I've presented on the plate here, right, all of it has traces of Guinness. They had very subtle amounts. I think with Guinness, right, the best part about it is that it is packed and it is carbonated very differently from the rest of the alcohol. And because of that, right, I was able to achieve this kind of skin, this kind of texture, this kind of airiness and cloudiness. And of course, a big thanks to Guinness for making this video possible. If you love fiery dishes, be sure to check out the Guinness Flavor by Fire this month, celebrating the magic of food and Guinness with flavors such as smoky, grilled, barbecued, and spicy. Discover a match made in flames with Guinness and your favourite fiery foods. Visit the participating restaurants, cook or order in a flaming feast packed perfectly with a smooth and creamy Guinness. For more info on the promos and experiences, check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Cooks. Let us know what you want to see us make in the next episode of How You Make It. How you cook it. How you cook it. <laughs> and remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye! This is my dinner, Zai Jian. See you. Bye-bye.